This week, we bring you part two of our special health series on women's energy. Last week, Dr. Trudy Pieper introduced two natural supplements designed to help in areas of stress, fatigue, lack of energy, and difficulty concentrating. This week, Dr. Trudy brings some additional suggestions on ways women can regain or improve daily energy needs. You have some suggestions in addition to the adaptogens um, that have nothing to do with going to the health food store. Right, and sleep, wonderful, <laughs> wonderful sleep. You know when you don't sleep, it's, you don't feel rested, it zaps your energy, uh, you can barely make it through the day. Sleep is one of the most important things that you can do. Your body regenerates, it builds, children grow when they're sleeping. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm gonna make some suggestions of some easy things that you can do that instead of taking a sleep aid that may help you get a better night's sleep. And the first one is just lemon balm. Lemon balm is from the mint family. Uh, it's a calming herb used for relaxation and to help you with sleep during the times of stress. It's good for children, um, all ages can use it. It's usually in a tincture form, which means it's fast acting. Mm -hmm. You can take it 30 minutes before bedtime, a dropper full of that, it'll help calm you down. It also can be combined with other herbs uh, like chamomile or California poppy. And those will all put together with those and make sure that you get into deep sleep along with that. Um, another thing that's kind of one of my favorites in essential oil is lavender, lavender spray. A study was done, Jennifer, that's found that participants that sprayed lavender on their pillowcase at night had more deep sleep and felt more refreshed than the group that didn't spray it on. Now my suggestion is, of course, you want to spray it on your pillow, but let's spray it on our kids and our husband's <laughs> pillow too so that everybody gets a good night's sleep. And that sounds like it could be pretty simple. Are we talking about like a lavender essential oil yes. that could just be dropped into some water in a spray bottle? In a spray bottle, absolutely. Just spray a little bit of that. It doesn't take a lot, just a little bit onto the pillows. I know when my grandkids come over to visit and I want to make sure they have a good night's sleep, the little teddy bear that I put in their crib with them has lavender sprayed into oh, it <laughs> excellent. to help, help them relax. <laughs> now here's something that really can cause you to feel frazzled, even if your life isn't going a thousand miles an hour, pain. If you're living in pain, that can create all kinds of anxiety and difficulties up and beyond, above that pain. It is, and every, it seems like everybody has pain. Um, and again, part of that, I think it's diet, you know, back to mm -hmm. nutrition again. Um, fibromyalgia, you can almost get rid of fibromyalgia, which is just pain all over your body if you just stop eating sugar. Sugar, every, the more sugar you eat, the more pain you're going to have. And sugar is, uh, has been found to be in 75% of all processed foods has sugar in it. Uh, we gravitate to sugar, it's almost addictive. You know, it's your comfort food you go to, things that have sugar in it. So reducing sugar will absolutely help with pain. But there are a couple of herbs that will also help that. More pain means less energy. Uh, curcumin, which is curcumin, which is an ingredient in turmeric. And turmeric is a really yellow spice that in the country of India, they use in a lot of foods yes. all the yeah. time. So it's got a great flavor mm -hmm. to it. It's, it's this bright gold, it's a little sharp. Well, the ingredient in that's what really is the painkiller. And studies have found that it's a wonderful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory, which reduces the inflammation, which gives you relief. It's found that it works very well for general aches and pains, arthritis, uh, neuropic pain, and even if you just over-exercised, you tried to do you know, more than your body's used to, it works well for that. They did a study and found that 1,200 milligrams of, of curcumin um, made a huge difference in the pain levels of the people who, who were experiencing this. Mm -hmm. They compared it to the medications, they're called they're NASAIDs, N-S-A-I-D-S, that are usually prescribed yes. um, mm -hmm. for pain, and it worked better than the NASAIDs with no side effects. Now one of the key things that curcumin or turmeric or any of those that you're using like that, you need to do it with black pepper. Black pepper is the transportation vehicle that allows it to get more quickly into uh, your system and to work better. So if you're gonna take it, make sure if you're getting in a powder form, you just take a little ground black pepper and put in it, or you wanna make sure you buy a product that has black pepper with it. Hmm. I'm just sitting here in awe of all of the things I'm learning, you know, black pepper, just things that you use on a daily basis, things that are a part of uh, turmeric, you know. Yes. Yeah, 
it's part of your cooking. If you cook carefully using certain things, that's going to help automatically. So we all need to start being Indian cooks. That's right. <laughs> well, again, they're live ingredients that God made. These are all things that have not been processed or chemicals. Our bodies can accept them readily. And God made them so that we would have less inflammation. We just didn't know that. Now we do.